played it so beautifully and they were so divinely engaged with each other, yeah. Kat and Dom. So when you were watching them, it was like, it was so pure and hopeful. That's a great word for that whole, whole episode. It's hopeful. Opa! 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 <laughs> like disobedience movie in a picture, um, and say how excited you are and for the release on April 27th, and you might defy the odds and receive some lovely items from the film. I I so appreciate what Kat shared and I adore your heart. I love you so much, Kat. And I feel like at a very impressionable age, we went through this together. So yeah, yeah it's such a good it's been really beautiful. We're very lucky, you know, that we, we really get along. We really love each other. And um, I think I wouldn't, couldn't picture doing it with anybody else but you. Oh. Wow. Do you know what I remember about eight was when I said to you, next Halloween, I'm going to be monster mashing my what? And like in the moment, I did like a dance and your face, it was like, the least sexy thing no. I've ever done. No, no, no. My but face. In that, yeah, yes, but in that moment, I was like, I can never recover from this. No, I would never have looked to like you like you weren't sexy. You think I was looking at you like you weren't sexy? I think that's in um, your head. I think it's a, maybe a little narrative. You did like, like a little, like, I did like a, a shimmy, and I think I and just then enjoyed I you. sort of wanted to die inside. It's like, this is why I don't dance. <laughs> oh, tree. I'm not that tall. I, I appreciate it, but I'm not that tall. <laughs> Tree number five. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Love your work. Thank, thank you. Um, I think I speak for everyone in the room that we are so excited for this panel, not just to talk about the show, but to talk about you guys and what the show means to everyone. Yeah. Um, great, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I feel great. Good. Um, firstly, as many as we can, and uh, while they're kind of lining up, Everybody in here loves you guys, loves the show. You guys are holding hands. That's so cute. Um, <laughs> Doesn't it always stay on that hand? No, I moved them. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Do you want to put them both that together again? No, I like, I like the fact that you've done that. I just have never... Noticed that before. I think if you have two rings, you should spread them out. We're having a debate. <laughs> no, it's, no, 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 it's not a debate. I'm just fascinated because I, I don't really know much about wedding rings and stuff like that. That you spread them out or you put them together. I thought there was a rule that you had to keep them next to each other. There's no rules. There is no rules. No. Who makes the rules? No one. We make the rules. <laughs> I think they look great either way, just weighing in. Marvelous <laughs> yeah. as it sounds, but I was mean to you, but that was kind of fun. You know? <laughs> Because it's just so opposite, and that was, it's so cool to be able to play both sides of the coin, you know? This, this, is, this is amazing, and that was the very first kind of taste, mm -hmm. taste of it. Um, and then, you were, why don't you say about um, the first time we went to Klexicon? That was like the oh, second yeah, one that we, we went to. Oh yeah, we went to um, Klexicon, which is a, f a convention. <laughs> What's it been like? What's it been like, Kat? <laughs> I mean, like, I never ever thought that I would be part of, well, anything. Are like you out of breath? I am. <laughs> Clearly, I need to exercise Fair a little enough. more. Um, yeah. I feel like, it's so crazy. Sorry. Oh, no, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. Uh, one of the most, like, powerful, um, moments I would say is probably after I first kissed this lovely lady. <laughs> um, yeah, I just remember going home and being like, oh, fuck, I did it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I think 
the sh- the show's definitely like, we saw Dom do so many like amazing because she's so talented and such like multifaceted talent. I think that the writers really will start to write for your character and the fact that you then chose to play because it could have quite easily been you just looking really like wow that's super sexy and me just being super sexy and that could have yeah, been the thing 100%. and it would have been it would have been a very different scene but the fact that you then supported me and was like reacted to me and was like no 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 it's good because it was completely ad-libbed that I say do you hate it <laughs> <laughs> because that's how I felt you know I'm I'm stood there with with uh, lots of oh, men people, around yeah. the crew and feeling really insecure. So I was like, I've got to use this. This is this is what's happening right now. I was like, do you hate it? And just like locking eyes with you. I remember being like, oh, what is happening? <laughs> and that's what came out. But I think that that was, that was the right scene to play. And I'm really glad that we yeah. got to talk oh, about I'm it. I'm so glad. Yeah. And I think like how great that you have, because you showing that showed you can do that if that's what makes you feel sexy and that's what makes you feel connected to, absolutely yeah but it doesn't have to be perfect exactly and that's we didn't see what happened key. after the scene yeah. so i'm sure I'm that sure it was a happy well. ending yeah. you know yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> walked out and we, like Dom and Kat, saw the way the art department and all the, like all the departments had come together and costumes and just seeing the homestead because we have talked about it and thought about it quite a bit. It was exactly what I had imagined. Action. It'll be fine, sis. Nicole gonna wear her hair like that. I remember I said to you, like, you know, when you, everything came together and they all marry together so beautifully, like, the sensation I had was Waverly would be so happy right now. And that is the nicest feeling in the world because you just feel so happy for the characters. Yeah. Everyone walking down the aisle and looking back at the characters. And then I would look at people and see the actor and my friend in their yes. journey and our journey oh, and like it was just so <laughs> yeah. much and every time I felt like I needed a little boost I could just look at a different person. Okay, let's get inside before you freeze. Okay. Are so you ready? ready? In sports, I just think it couldn't have worked with anyone else. And what the fans are responding to at the end of the day is the authenticity, authenticity of these two women um, just imbibing these characters. So it has been so joyful. It has been so joyful. And what an honor to in the community, I think, to have projected something so joyful and positive. I feel like it has changed my life. I want to say um, I did a convention this past weekend. I think there's um, some fear that we're going to go away. I, I just want to assure people that like, I'm not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm very incredibly grateful for this journey, but I'm also like really determined to continue the work mm -hmm. and um, continue just doing what I can to promote better and more queer representation. Um, strong female characters, just diverse characters, and using the platform that this experience has gifted me, both on a public level, but especially within the industry. And um, just to like continue to, you know, talk to people like, like Glad and having those relationships with the mm -hmm. advocate. And like, those are tools that I would like to promise the fans that like, 
I am doing everything I can behind the scenes to like continue the work that I feel on some level was like beautifully um, given to me as maybe a task that I, that I, that I can contribute in some way. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, I just want to assure people that like, I'm not going away and I'm going to continue using uh, the tools that I've been given, the stories that I've heard, the beautiful people that I've met to continue trying to like push, um, push these stories forward to the absolute best of my ability. And um, I just want to assure people that like, I, I don't plan on disappearing from having these conversations mm -hmm. anytime soon. Um, and I, and mm -hmm. I've sensed this like fear and I, I, if I, if my words can be of any reassurance that like, that's not the plan for, for myself. And um, I just want people to know that. I, I so appreciate what Kat shared and I adore your heart. I love you so much, Kat. I'm wide eyed and it's midnight. My heart's still burning over you. Oh. The magic doesn't go unnoticed, and it, it, that's the reason why we have to go back. Please. <laughs> we will. Please. <laughs> There was like hundreds of people and I remember they like we came out and they cheered and it was like a wave came yeah. and I remember like grabbing Dom's hand we were, and we just walked it was the most like special and overwhelming so and that was a moment where I was like this got big yeah yeah home home